Welcome to this video. In this session, you will see the presentation of erection sequence. This application has been developed with an intent to help support and plan the best outcomes which mitigate the erection related issues. What actually happens is it will assign stage number and sequence number to the picked assemblies in the same order that you pick. You can then run the erection stage presentation. While doing so, use any one of the screen capturing software to record the presentation, then save it and send it to the erectors for better clarity and planning the erection of members. Let's see the demo. Double click to open the properties. Set the stage number and sequence start number. Click assign. As we are going to assign the numbers at assembly level, change the switch to select assemblies. Pick the column assemblies one by one. Once you are done, press the middle mouse to finish. You can see it displays the stage number and sequence number of each assembly. Next, we will assign the numbers to the beams followed by truss. The stage number and sequence number will be copied to the assembly user different attributes. Go to assembly user different attributes, click number. You can see the erection stage and sequence number. Let me randomly pick the members. You don't have to create this erection stage and sequence number UDA because objects.imp file will also be included in the installation package. It will be copied to the system folder when you install this application. You can also delete the number from this application. Now I'm going to select the column assemblies and hit delete number. The numbers are deleted. Just go to the user different attributes and cross verify this information. You can see the stage and sequence number fields are blank. Let me assign the numbers again to this column assemblies. Now this time I'm going to do it at two stages. The first stage for the columns at the front and uh, the second stage will be column at the back. So. The columns at the back starts with number 4. I change the sequence start number to 4 and then pick the column assemblies. Enter the stage number and click show. We will run the sequence presentation for all the three stages now. Enter the stage number 1, 2 and 3 with a space. Click show. While running this presentation, use any one of the screen capturing software to record the presentation. Then save it and send it to the erectors for better clarity and planning the erection of steel members. If the sequence number is incorrect or you want to change the number, it will be very easy to do it. Let me do it for the column assemblies. Just double click and open the assembly user different attributes. Change the sequence number to 1 and then 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Now when I run the sequence presentation, you can see the change in the order.
We will run the presentation to all the team members now. And let me display all the team now. In the interest of the time, I have already assigned the numbers to all the purlins. There are six stages in the model. So let me enter the stage number one by one with a space. Click show. As I said, use any one of the screen capturing software to record the presentation, then save it and send it to the directors. Now we will see the presentation for precast elements. Let me just go to the view filter and change the settings to display all the precast members. Again, in the interest of the time, I have already given the stage and sequence numbers to these panels. So all the ground floor panels starts with the V1 stage number. And first floor is P2. And it goes on and the last one is P8. Let me run this sequence presentation now. Enter all the stage numbers with the space. and click show. You can also create report from this application. So you have three options, create report for all, create report for selected assemblies, and create report for the given stages. Let me show you this create report for all. Click, and then this will automatically create the report. Go to the model folder, open reports, and open this Excel file. So here is the report for the steel members by stages. And followed by precast. You don't have to create this report because this report file will also be included in the installation package. Thank you for watching this video.